Welcome to the Coop Bricks. Isn't this supposed to be a subway station? Where's the subway station? I really wonder. So is Mini Me. This is the mini minifigure of me. And currently he is going to be called Mini Me. And he is the mascot of the Coop Bricks. And I honestly don't see that subway station anywhere. But I do see a park, and that's about it. There is a lady throwing a bone to her dog, or in the process of it. There is a mock tree that I made. There is also a small shrubbery right here with a small pink flower. There is an older couple enjoying their sandwich. Hmm, looks like wheat bread. wonder if they got that from the sandwich shop. And there are two people. I will get the, I will cover them more in the minifigs portion of the video. There's also a small table right here, a picnic table with two benches. They're occupying one, and there is one left to anybody who might want it. And then there is a tree right here, and some more shrubbery and foliage over here. Can't really, there's something in the way of the camera right here. There's a tree. Let me get a better view over here. There we go. There's the tree. And there's a small piece of shrubbery there. So, about finding that subway station. You know where it is, Mini-Me? I guess he can't talk because it's plastic. Okay, let's see what's over. Oh, there it is. This is the entrance to my subway station. It is a... Regular sized brick area with some arched roofing and some decorative trim along the top. And then there is the thing that tells you where, where the trains are and if they're ready or not. Looks like one of them is and the other one is running a little late or something. Or it hasn't arrived yet. And there's some shrubbery right here. You can see that. Then there's the stairs down to the subway station. Then here's the stairs up over here. I made sure that there were two staircases so they wouldn't get caught in the traffic jam. Human traffic jam. Always bad. Then there's a fire hydrant. And that's about it of this area. Now let's go below and stare at the subway station. Here's a small portion of it. Let me take the roof off so I can show you more. There is a car for sale. You can see the tag. It looks like a very expensive sports car. I want one of them. Maybe a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something like that. Yeah. Looks like a Corvette, maybe. And here is the entrance to the break room for the security officers at the place. And I'll get to that later. And then there's a city pizza advertisement and VIP plane service advertisement. And then there's the stairs leading up to the top. And there is the plaza area. I guess right now it isn't lunch, lunch, uh, sorry, rush hour because there aren't many people. And then there is a clock over in this corner. And you can see that it's got some decorative trim around it. And there's some sort of a railing right here up, decorative railing. And there's the train. I'll get to the underground train later. And let me flip it around to show you the restaurant and the break room. Had a lot of fun building this. And after this, since this is the final build of my modular style series. I'm still coming up with what to do next for this. Here is the restaurant. Small Chinese restaurant. You can see my holders that hold up the floor below. And there's the back of the train. And then here is the Chinese restaurant. What do you think? And there is a door to let the employees in. And there is a small brick wall back there to hide the soda fountain, which I'll get to that in a minute. 
And there are two chefs. There is a woman with uh, the classic smiley face, Lego smiley face. And there is a man that looks like he's really good at doing his job. And he looks very happy to be doing it. And here is the kitchen of the restaurant. There is the soda fountain. Fast food restaurant is not perfect without a soda fountain. Then I made some cups, some styrofoam Lego cups to fit right here. They are made of four cylinder plates with a small, tall cylinder. And there is the pantry, probably some chicken or something in there. And there's some more cups on the floor, which isn't good. They must have spilled them or something. And there is a plate full of chicken and looks like some salad with some spicy pepper or something. Then there is a container of who knows what and a frying pan. And there is another crate full of probably spices. And there's some cans, which are probably more spices. Spices, spices, spices. And there's a refrigerator, which is completely empty at the time. Needs to, I need to put something in there. Then there's a large oven range over here. It needs an oven somewhere. Then there's the controls for the rice cookers. There's some yellow rice in this one. I made that out of cheese slips. And then there is some white rice in here. Also cheese slips. And then we have our large fryer slash range over here. There is an Octane Corporation signal signal here. And looks like it's still cooking, whatever it is. Hmm. There's nothing there. That's awkward. And then there's the waiting counter. And there's the two workers. Now let me take you into the break room. Here's an aerial view of the break room. There's a man watching bicycle stunts on television with his remote. And there's that door into it. And down this long hallway, there is a ticket booth. And there is someone getting their ticket right now. Hmm. Or maybe they already paid for the ticket and are getting on the train. And there's a small awning right here with a window. And then there's the friendly associate. You'll get to see him more in the minifigures portion of the video. And there's a large block wall here full of Lego cinder blocks. And then there are some, there's a white trim above it. And there's the gray tile holding up the park roof. And there's the back of the train again. And that's about it of the actual subway station. Get an aerial view of the subway station. Oops. And there is the aerial view. Pretty large. It is a 48 by 48 plate that it is situated on. So that's pretty large. And that's about it of the actual subway station. Let me get to the train. Here is the Lego train from the subway station. It is 22 bricks long and five bricks, no wait, six bricks wide. And it is not modeled after anything I have seen before. It is just top of my brain, whatever came out. And there is a non-opening door, which is very awkward for this train. The door does not open. It's just there for decorative purposes. It's got a doorknob and a window. You can see inside the train from here. It's got darkened windows because I thought that went better with the red. Then there is a 14 by 1 brick garage indented. For those garage panels that you can put in on them. But this time I used them for decorative purposes. And it looks sort of like a run. That the train would follow or something. And here is the top. 
There is an air conditioning vent and some tiles that hold up the roof. And then let me turn it around to face the front. I put it on train tracks because it just goes better. It just looks better. And here is the front of the train. You can see the driver in there. And there is a small headlight and an indented slope up above to sort of give the driver and the controls more room. And there is an outdented area to put the controls in. And you can see a hook over here that you can hook the train to for maybe gas or something. And let me show you the inside of the train. This roof is a very interesting roof. It is actually a 4 by 18 brick roof with tiles attached around it to hold it in place. And there's also a piece right here holding it in. And here is the inside. There are four seats for the passengers, and then there's a sort of an entryway into the train. It'd be bad if there were seats there you couldn't get in. And these seats are attached by jumper plates so that they'd have enough room to move. I'll check one out and show you. Here are, there are four other jumper plates connecting the other four seats down so that they wouldn't bump the back. And here is the driver. He has a very comfortable chair made with quite a few pieces. It moves back and forth, hands in the way. So he can recline while he's driving and all that stuff. And there's the controls right there. There's a brake system and a gauge, probably a fuel gauge or something. And that's about it of the train. Let me show you the minifigures now. Here are the minifigs from my subway station. There are 12 minifigs, not counting me. My minifig. And here they all are. Some were in the subway station, some were in the park above. And now let me get closer and show you all of them. Here is one of the security workers. He looks like he's had a rough day. And here is the head security worker. He was at the front desk taking whoever's ticket that was. And here are the two chefs from the Chinese restaurant, both dressed in the same kind of apparel. She has the classic smiley face. And he has the determined look like he's going to do something great today. And then there is one of the men that was coming down the stairs. There's another one of them. And the third is over here. They're, they're all dressed in normal clothes. Looks like he could be going to hang out. He's going to work. And he looks like he's an airline pilot. Or just an executive. And there is the lady and her dog. She's still got that bone in her hand. The dog looks very happy. If only you could wag his tail. <laughs> and there is old grandpa with his humongous sandwich. I don't know how he's going to fit that in his mouth. And there is his wife looking kind of concerned for him. Maybe he shouldn't be eating that. Because it's kind of big. And there's the train driver. Let me get him up closer. There. Should be able to see him better. He has a walkie-talkie and a utilities belt. And he has blondish, dirty blonde hair. And two pockets on his coat or torso, whatever that is. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Please enjoy more of my videos. And hope to see you soon. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.